what's on your mind? You seem a little distracted. Traveler, I know what that look means. What's on your mind? Maybe seasoned veterans have an instinct for it. I sense it too. Something seems to have changed, but I can't confirm for sure. It could be difficult to verify. It might be imprudent to speculate out loud, but I believe you know what I am referring to. <laughs> Traveler, I think... You... Be a challenge. Stay back! I'm going to cut this weed down to size! Shake! Oh, so sorry. I take it this monster is whom I had the pleasure of meeting last time. Correct. As you might have guessed, this is a mutated whopper flower. An extremely rare kind. But can whopper flowers turn into humans? Not typically. But conditions on Dragonspine are far from typical. Perhaps the dragon's blood seeped into the land, then was passed to the monsters via the ley lines. Accelerating their rate of mutation. We're fortunate to have discovered it in time. I think the Traveler was the first person other than Albedo to notice something was wrong. Traveler, how could you tell the real me and my imposter apart? I want to know too. I had no idea the other guy was an imposter. They looked exactly the same to me. I see. It goes to show how difficult it is to impersonate a human. This mutant whopper flower tried its best to replicate the original exactly, but still managed to miss some details. Anyway, at least we won in the end. It looks like my method did work after all. <laughs> I used up all the bad luck, and the good luck finally came through! About that. If you're referring to having fallen down the mountain and avoided injury, well, that's because I was secretly protecting you. <laughs> huh? Uh, well, that still counts as good luck to me. <laughs> yes, that's not an unreasonable way of looking at it. I have to say, Traveler, I'm very surprised you noticed the difference between me and the imposter. Yes, this mark. Perhaps it's where it all began. Ooh, sounds like the beginning of a big story. Keep going! Well, I, uh... 
can't deny that what I'm about to say does sound like something from a children's storybook. So, what do you think this diamond-shaped mark means? Uh... a tattoo? A crest? Something else? No. Consider it a, uh... a birthmark. Have you ever seen an intricate glass ornament and wondered how it was made? Well, one method for crafting with glass is a technique known as glass blowing. As the name implies, glass blowing involves blowing air into a hole, much like blowing up a balloon. This type of glassware is known for having a pontal mark at the point where the blowpipe was inserted, where the hole was sealed at the very end. This mark is a sign that the item was crafted by a human hand. Sounds kind of amazing! It is a wondrous and beautiful art form. Alice says that these marks are seen as proof of the maker's fine handiwork, the only flaw in an otherwise perfect work of art. My mark is something similar to this. I understand. Creativity is something that cannot be rushed. Take your time, and come back when you have found some inspiration. We'll see whose story is more... compelling. We'll regroup with the Adventurer's Guild for now. Sure. My story... Yes, I should have known. Master's failed specimen in the dragon's belly. This is where the story truly begins. If we switched places, if you were the survivor, then as the abandoned experiment, the failure of the primordial human project, I'd want to replace you too. I would replicate your appearance, study your alchemy, and create miraculous life forms to divert your attention. I would wait for the right moment, then dispose of you and the traveler. The sole person to have known your secret. And then... I could finally experience the joy of being brought into the world. <laughs>